All right, so this is what I did this morning. I built me a little LM386 amp. Here's the little op amp. It's the LM386. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, the MPF102 right there. I don't know if you can see it real well. I got a crappy webcam. But that's, that's it right there. And then there's some resistors and capacitors and it's got the volume. That's the volume control, gain control, basically distortion, and 9 volt power supply. 12 volts better, but I have to have a wall wart for that. I don't have a 12 volt battery, so this is just easier. But that's it. This is the speaker that it's going to be playing through. I can build this into an amp for my son. He got a guitar for Christmas, if it'll ever focus. But it's just an AudioVox speaker from a stereo system. Eventually, I'm going to put that on a board, put it in here, and put a speaker in here and make this an amp. There's Noah. Say, hey, Noah. <laughs> but that's what I built today, so I'm going to test it out for you. Here we go. Hold on. Let me put this here. The volume on the mic on this camera stinks so I'm gonna have to put this down here alright here we go this is my little Jag Sting it's a beautiful guitar I love it but turned up here's volume I'm gonna turn the gain all the way down here's volume It's a problem working with the breadboard. This is volume all the way up. This is gain all the way up. Distortion all the way down. The cool thing about this amp is I can strum it, make it sound clean. Strum it harder, and it sounds like distortion. So there you go. It's an LM386 amp.